Okay, so here I have my repo, which is a foam workspace. Um, I call it brain dump. Uh, you can, it's open so you can watch it. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I create a code space to use it in my iPad. So I have enabled code space in my account, so I can just click here, new code space, select my repo and my branch, and then create a code space. This will initialize uh, VS Code in the browser, so I will be able to edit my uh, repo or in the iPad with very easy like setup. Okay, so now that is loaded, you can see that I can install the recommended extensions, which I think I have all of them installed. And one cool thing about CodeSpaces is that it loads all the settings that I have in my repo. So you see here all the settings that I have already, those are being loaded by uh, code spaces to my to this VS Code instance. Also, another cool thing is that I have a dot files uh, GitHub repo in my account, so it will catch that repo too. So I have all my terminal setup also loaded in this code space. So I can just go and open, for example, inbox, and you see here that I have all my all the inboxes and I can do like um, to do and it will create the link so I can go there and use it as if I was in my laptop. So here you have it. Um, there are some issues that I found using uh, code spaces in the iPad. Uh, one is that you need to be careful to not press command W to close one tab because it's not going to close this tab. It's going to close the whole page. So when you reload again, it will be, it will not load everything properly. So you need to be careful on that. And apart from that, I think everything works almost the same. So I think, yeah, you see that I have, I can do I can put a today tab and all those things and it's it's actually working pretty well. So um so yeah, there you have it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'm happy to answer any other uh issues or questions.